dear students in this video i am going to explain about lesson number 4 transition and inner transition elements my topic number 1 heading is compounds of transition elements and in which the first heading is oxides and oxo anions of transition metal we first we want to know when does the transition metal will form as a transition metal oxide whatever the transition metal we have if it reacts with molecular oxygen at high temperature the particular transition metal will get converted into transition metal oxide nearly 40 elements are there in our transition metal series in which i have taken the first series called 3d series here we have 10 elements scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper zinc nearly 10 elements are there in the 3d series the first element except scandium all the other elements forms ionic metal oxide when these elements when they react with oxygen forms metal oxide among which the first element alone will form first element alone exemption the remaining elements will form ionic metal oxide the oxidation of number of the metal in metal oxide ranges from plus 2 to plus 7 for scandium it will be as plus 3 for the remaining elements the oxidation number increases from plus 2 to plus 7 seriya for example in the middle of the series manganese we have which contains the oxidation number of plus 2 to plus 7 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 in such a way it is having a large variety of oxidation state for manganese alone so as the oxidation number increases whenever an oxidation number increases its ionic character decreases for example manganese as i told you it has plus 2 to plus 7 oxidation state um, one of a uh, compound of manganese is mn2o7 manganese heptoxide is covalent in nature because here manganese is at plus 7 oxidation state appa epala oxidation state kududho anga vandu pathinga na ionic character koranji covalent character increase aagum okay va so transition metal oxides are classified into two types lower oxides higher oxides lower oxide means it will have the oxidation number for example plus 2 plus 3 in such a way higher oxides means plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 in such a way it will be having the oxidation state lower oxide if it has low oxidation state it will behave either as amphoteric metal oxide or basic metal oxide if it has higher oxidation state it will be behave as acidic metal oxide for example for lower oxides cr2o3 chromium 3 oxide here we have chromium in plus 3 oxidation state cro chromium 2 oxide here we have chromium at plus 2 oxidation state so these are the examples for lower oxidation state what about higher oxidation state manganese heptoxide mn2o7 upon treatment with water it form hmno4 this is called as permanganic acid similarly cro3 chromium trioxide upon treatment with water hydrolysis it gives two compound one is chromic acid and dichromic acid what is the speciality of these three compounds see here to calculate the oxidation number how to calculate the oxidation number for chromic ox acid dichromic acid and permanganic acid here i am going to calculate the oxidation state for chromium in chromic acid so h2cro4 this is the formula we know very well the oxidation number for hydrogen is always plus 1 and in most of the cases the oxidation number for oxygen is minus 2 which we have learnt in 11th standard so we have two hydrogen so 2 into 1 plus chromium i have kept as x plus four oxygen are there each carries minus 2 so 4 into minus 2 is equal to 0 so 2 plus x minus 8 is equal to 0 so upon rearrangement i will be getting x is equal to plus 6 so here the chromium is at plus 6 oxidation state plus 6 means it is higher oxidation higher oxidation state so chromic as it is here higher oxide it belongs to higher oxide similarly dichromic acid formula h2cr2o7 so hydrogen 2 2 into 1 chromium 2 2, 2 into x oxygen 7 7 into minus 2 is equal to 0 So 2 plus 2x minus 14 is equal to 0. Upon rearrangement, the answer is x is equal to plus 6. So here the chromium is at plus 6 oxidation so state. Though it is a higher oxidation state, it also belongs to higher oxide. Next the third example, H2O4, permanganic acid. In permanganic acid, I have to calculate the oxidation state for manganese. Hydrogen, I have one hydrogen, so one into one plus x plus four into minus two is equal to zero. One plus x minus eight, so x is equal to plus seven. Here, manganese is at plus seven oxidation state. It is a higher oxidation state for manganese, so I am calling it as higher oxide. So this is what I have mentioned here: lower oxide and the higher oxides. Okay. Next, preparation of potassium dichromate. 
what is the formula for potassium dichromic compound for chromium chromium oxide i am going to take class now the first one is preparation of potassium dichromate formula k2cr2o7 first one we have to find from which ore can be able to prepare the potassium dichromate the ore which is used utilized to prepare potassium dichromate is chromite ore in your book they have given us chromate ore it is wrong you have to write this chromite ore the formula is feo dot cr2 o3 or fe cr2 o4 see it is an oxide ore so it can be concentrated by gravity separation or it is otherwise called as hydraulic washing so i am going to extract or i am going to prepare potassium dichromate from the chromite ore chromite ore fe cr2 o7 i have taken it is fused with sodium carbonate and it is roasted roasted means we know very well heating the ore in the excess of oxygen below the melting point so i i have treated the chromic chrom, chromite ore with the sodium carbonate and oxygen at 900 to 1000 degrees celsius while doing so the chromite ore is converted into sodium chromate plus iron oxide plus carbon dioxide gases evolved wherever carbonate is taken is the reactant the carbon dioxide will be evolved, evolved in the product அப்போ இதில் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நமக்கு இந்த குரோமைட்டில் தான் என்ன இருக்குது குரோமியம் இருக்குது அது கூட அயன் இருக்குது அது அயன் வந்து நமக்கு தேவையில்லை ஸோ அந்த அயனை வந்து என்ன செஞ்சோம் எஃபி டூ ஓ த்ரீயை வந்து நம்ம ரிமூவ் பண்ணி இன்சாயபிள் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸாக கீழே டெபாசிட் பண்ண வச்சிடணும் குரோமியம் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சோடியத்தோட சேர்ந்து சோடியம் குரோமேட்டாக வந்து சாலிபிள் எல்லோ கலர்ட் லிக்யூட் வந்து கன்வெர்ட் ஆகும் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் இன் செகண்ட் ஸ்டெப் த சேம் சோடியம் குரோமேட் எல்லோ லிக்யூட் இஸ் டேக்கன் இட் இஸ் ட்ரீட்டட் வித் சல்ஃபியூரிக் ஆசிட் வாட் வேர் எவர் வி யூஸ் சல்ஃபியூரிக் ஆசிட் இட் ஆக்ட் அஸ் டீஹைட்ரேட்டிங் ஏஜென்ட் டீஹைட்ரேட்டிங் மீன்ஸ் இட் ரிமூவ்ஸ் த வாட்டர் மாலிகூல் so this is what going to happen once again the sodium chromate gets converted into sodium dichromate adanna chromate dichromate vidhya so appadi pathina ipo for example na2cro4 id epdi ionize aagum appadina 2 sodium 2 na plus plus cro4 inga rendu cation irukkanaala rendu ion so this is called as chromate ion this is called as chromate ion look at this formula na2 cr2 o7 here i'll be having 2 na plus plus cr2 o7 2 minus so this is called as dichromate ion this is called as dichromate ion appo inga enna nadandirukke chromate has been converted into dichromate as a result of dehydrating agent we are using it is getting converted into sodium sulfate and water also here sodium sulfate is a less soluble substance here it sodium dichromate is a orange red soluble substance the sodium dichromate is taken and it is fused with potassium chloride as a result the two sodium will take away with the two chlorine and form sodium chloride remaining k2cr2o7 so this is a crystalline form of potassium dichromate okay so this is the method to prepare the potassium dichromate next coming to the physical properties of potassium dichromate that's why i told you that potassium dichromate ionizes to form potassium ion and dichromate ion it is a orange red crystalline solid its melting point is 671 kelvin it is moderately soluble in cold water but much soluble in hot water now i am going to discuss about the action of heat of potassium dichromate what happens when just the potassium dichromate crystals are heated in a dry test tube see here this is the equation potassium dichromate i have taken it is heated gently in a dry test tube as a result the potassium dichromate get converted into potassium chromate and chromium 3 oxide in potassium dichromate the chromium is a plus 6 oxidation state it get converted into potassium chromate where also the chromium is a plus 6 oxidation state and in chromium 3 oxide the chromium is a plus 3 oxidation state okay so this is the right time to distinguish the dichromate ion and chromate ion what is the structural differences between the dichromate ion and chromate ion so first i am going to explain what is the structure of the chromate ion this is the chromate ion cro4 2 minus structure of chromate ion so we know very well in chromate ion the chromium is a plus 6 oxidation state and each and every oxygen is a minus 2 oxidation state plus 6 abina enna cyo abina chromium sutti 6 bond vand create avu minus 2 abina oxygen sutti red bond whether it is plus 6 or minus 6 if it has 6 means chromium will have six bonds around it if it has two means the oxygen will have two bonds around it okay so look at the structure center i have drawn drawn the chromium marked the chromium surrounding the chromium i have marked four oxygen in a tetrahedral arrangement as i told you here chromium each and every chromium will be surrounded by six bonds 1 2 3 4 5 6 among the six here two double bonds and two single bonds are there 
and oxygen should be surrounded by two bond here the oxygen is with two bond here the oxygen is two bond but here these two oxygens are having only one bond so we have marked on negative charge so inside the structure we have two negative charge it is all over represented as minus two this structure is equivalent to in the structure in the structure equal is there any difference of the double bond right there and single bond up or இதில் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டாட் லைன்ஸ் கொடுத்துருக்கோம் இட்ஸ் நத்திங் பட் ரெசனல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இப்போ இந்த ரெண்டு டபுள் பாண்டுமே சிங்கிள் சிக்மா பாண்ட் பை பாண்ட் எடுத்துக்கிட்டோம் அப்படின்னா அந்த பை பாண்ட் வில் இன்வால்வ் ரெசனன்ஸ் ஸோ ஆஸ் அ ரிசல்ட் த ரசனல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர்ஸ் ஆர் கிவன் த பாண்ட் லென்த் ஆஃப் சிஆர்ஓ ஐ மீன் த குரோமியம் ஆக்சிஜன் பாண்ட் லென்த் இஸ் ஒன் சிக்ஸ்டி சிக்ஸ் பிகோமீட்டர் திஸ் இஸ் த ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் குரோமேட் ஐயா நவ் ஐம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அபவுட் த ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் டைக்ரோமேட் ஐயா சிஆர் டு ஓ செவன் டூ மைனஸ் சிஹெர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் டைக்ரோமேட் ஐயா here also the chromium is having plus 6 oxidation and oxygen is having as minus 2 oxidation state plus 6 means the chromium will be surrounded by 6 bond and the oxygen minus 2 means each and every oxygen will be surrounded by 2 oxygen atom sorry, sorry two bonds so here i have two chromium atoms i have placed two chromium like this and seven oxygen atoms are there and the left side i have marked three oxygen atom and at the right side i have marked three at oxygen atom both the chromium atoms are connected by chromium as a oxygen as in the form of the bridge so totally two chromium and the seven oxygen atoms are there each chromium should be surrounded by six bonds 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 among the six bond two of them are double bond and two of them are single bond here also two of them are double bond and two of them are single bonds so wherever we have single bonded oxygen it will be having minus charge so the resonance structure i have marked the same structure in the form of the resonance structure we, here we have given some information about the bond length also chromium oxygen bond length is 163 picometer similarly chromium bridged oxygen bond length is 178 picometer the oxygen chromium oxygen chromium bond angle is 126 degree so these are something about the structure of the dichromate ion now what is the difference between the chromate ion and dichromate ion both chromate and dichromate are oxo anions of chromium chromium thoda oxo anion oxo anion means oxygen carrying negative charges they are moderate oxidizing agent they have both have plus 6 oxidation in chromium plus 6 oxidation state in chromium in aqueous solution chromate ions are in equilibrium with dichromate ion aqueous solution la number of chromate number of dichromate equal are whereas in alkaline solution chromate ion will be predominant over the dichromate ion in acidic solution dichromate ion will be predominant over the chromate ion. chromates ion solution so these are something about the preparation structure of the potassium dichromate thank you